Amen. Now, there's just a couple more things I want to, and then I'll, I'll teach more. But, you know, tonight, God is doing something because you're here. And at the end of April, <clears throat> the Lord told me, I want you to get outside of America and look back at it. And so I thought, you know, I don't want to go to Mexico. It's too much craziness down there right now. I, I, Canada, you know, it's, I, I love it, but. And so I thought, well, you know, it's only about an hour and a half to the Bahamas. <laughs> and listen, guys, you know, look at me. I don't do sun very well. <laughs> and, and I knew, <laughs> yeah. And I, I knew I was supposed to go there and pray for two days. I knew we had people there, but I just knew I was supposed to pray. And the second day I was there, the Lord fell on me for America. Now, I just sent this out. Uh, I've gone over it with several of the people that I run with, uh, and Dutch Sheets, and we've had several meetings on it, and gave me direction what to do starting after Feast of Tabernacles in September where we would address every state where everybody in the state could join with us uh, virtually first. Then we would have some regional gatherings next year to gather the remnant and the army that God's raising up for this hour. In some way, why I think the Lord fell on me when I got here. Because he said to me, I am going to raise up a remnant group that has never been raised up before. And when we, I love it. Somebody's liking it. I'm telling you. And and when worship started, it was as if he said, see, they began here. Now, this meeting represents to me the beginning of the next move of God in this nation. Not a move that's coming. And then, you know, looking at some of the history of Scranton, why would all the presidents come here? God knows. Why would our present president be from here? God knows. There is not just an incredible root that's coming alive here. Why would the rebellion against the Catholic Church be so strong here? Against religion, but never breaking out of religion. See, all of a sudden you begin to see why Scranton, God sees Scranton. And he says, when I transform Scranton, you watch a nation get transformed. <laughs> now, let me show you one picture. I want to show you what it looks like 
because I have learned through all the years of travel and being in places that usually when God chooses a place, it's been a stronghold for the enemy. And then he flips it to become a portal for heaven. And Aaron, show that, show that veil first of all. See, what happens when Satan rules is through all those iniquities that have gone on through the years, and I think one of the worst iniquity that we have that we never really talk about is how we grieve Holy Spirit in moving. And what all those iniquities do, they go into the ground and they form thrones where the atmosphere are controlled by the iniquitous worship that has occurred. And what happens over a territory when that happens is it covers, it's like it's covered with a uh, the Bible actually says it like this, that he covered using uh, wealth and sound. Satan, in Ezekiel 28, we, he talks about that. And it forms this veil of occult that holds back the perfect purpose but starting 13 months ago, all of a sudden, when God says Scranton, all of a sudden, something started happening in Pennsylvania. The bloodshed against our first people started getting reconciled in a new way. The covenant breaking that has gone on in the church started getting rectified in a new way. All of a sudden, this veil of the atmosphere started disintegrating and it actually now begins to form like this. Go ahead, Aaron, with the next one. See, all of a sudden, this portal begins to surround the territory. And see, God said, and he had said, without Pennsylvania restoring its root of freedom, and the root of freedom that I had planned for America that is so deep and so encrusted by the enemy that dwells in Pennsylvania, without that happening, the Lord has said that once, that America could never come back into its total freedom. And then for him to say, until they began to gather in Scranton, America will not see revival. 